Hey, welcome everyone. This is Mike from ZozoStockWatch.com and uh, this is your stock watch list and let's get ready for the week ahead uh, for Monday the 29th through February uh, the 2nd, uh, Friday. So uh, let's go ahead and get into it. A lot of earnings coming out this week. I think over 400 companies uh, report earnings this week coming up and this is uh, courtesy of uh, Earnings Whisperers uh, and this is their nice uh, visual for earnings that I like to use and look at now this is just the major companies uh, that'll be reporting but uh, you know some names coming out McDonald's Pfizer AK Steel Nucor Steel uh, Pulte Homes PHM symbol there uh, AMD uh, let's see. Oh, I neglected uh, SC Gate on uh, STX on uh, Monday before the open. So STX, another important one. Uh, Aetna, Corn, Corning, uh, GLW symbol there. Harley Davidson, Hog, HOG, uh, and that's just Tuesday so far. Then for Wednesday before they open, we have Boeing, uh, Lilly, DHR Horton, another home builder, ADP, Thermo Fisher. Uh, then after the close, the big uh, one. Facebook, PayPal, Microsoft, AT&T, U.S. Steel, Qualcomm, eBay, Aflac, uh, to name a few there for uh, Wednesday after the bell. And then Thursday, kind of the Super Bowl of earnings, Apple, Amazon, uh, Google after the close on uh, Thursday, UPS before the open, Nokia, Altria, uh, Dow, DuPont, uh, Conoco Phillips before on Thursday, then after the bell, I'm sorry, then before the bell on Friday, uh, we have Sprint, Exxon Mobil, um, Merck, uh, ST Lauder, Sony, but the big day here, Apple, Amazon, Alphabet, and these stocks have just been powering up and uh, they're going to need some big earnings to kind of carry them forward. Uh, they look like all to be stretched, except uh, Apple is below the 50 and we'll, 50 SMA. We'll get more into that. But Google and Amazon, if you look at the quarterly charts on uh, these two stocks, I mean, basically, you know, para parabolic uh, on those names. Not saying they don't deserve it, but my goodness, it's been a straight up run for Amazon uh, without a pause. So amazing strength there, uh, a well deserved in Amazon as they. Uh, take over the world uh, <laughs> uh, in uh, in retail and other forms of uh, technology for Amazon. Um, we'll get that out of the way. And then uh, here comes the economic information. Uh, this courtesy of the trade exchange. And uh, what's nice about this uh, beautiful layout here that they do at trade exchange, if you go ahead and click on uh, these boxes here that say companies reporting earnings, uh, you can see the the uh, top companies reporting earnings in this uh, drop down menu. So great little thing there from uh, Trade Exchange. But just to get into the um, uh, economic information, you know, not too much until now. The FOMC meeting begins. Are they going to raise rates? Are they not? Are they going to wait till uh, March? Uh, but then we get the final announcement on uh, Wednesday at 2 p.m. So hold on to your seats there at uh, 2 p.m. on Wednesday, the FOMC meeting. So that's in red. Uh, so that's a pretty big, uh, important uh, moment there at 2 p.m. for the markets. And uh, what are they going to do with interest? Interest, interest rates, leave them alone. I think most people are leaning towards that they're going to leave them alone. And then it uh, looks like maybe March, uh, we might get a, red, uh, a rate hike. So we'll see on all that. Uh, you know, one person's guess is as good as another. Um, and then here's our uh, economic information. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, nothing major until Friday, um, as if, you know, um, we didn't have enough with the FOMC meeting. FOMC meeting and the FOMC announcement. Uh, we also have Friday the uh, employment situation coming out at 8:30 on Friday. So um, another big uh, number there, and on top of that, the uh, earnings that we just went through. So quite a number of things uh, coming up on, on the uh, screen here uh, for the week ahead. So we'll have to pay close attention uh, to uh, that. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll get into uh, some markets real fast. And um, I was going to show you, uh, if you look at my uh, YouTube, not YouTube, uh, my Twitter uh, posts, 
uh, that I put out there. And uh, by the way, we're up to uh, over uh, 32,500 uh, followers on uh, Twitter. And I thank you all for that, by the way. And if you're not following me on uh, Twitter, it's at Zozo Stockwatch. But, uh, you know, I threw out some, uh, these are quarterly charts and I'll try to, yeah, there's the quarterly of the Dow Jones. I mean, <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. I mean, a tremendous move here, right? And, uh, you know, how much more can can it go before we pull back now you know nobody's calling for a crash here but just a little bit of a possible pullback would be in order you would think so we'll see and then uh, you know spy another quarterly chart that I put out on my uh, Twitter feed so uh, as you can see very stretched overextended uh, on these quarterly charts here's Google uh, popping you know big nice run not saying it's not deserved uh, but they've had some tremendous moves here uh, Amazon uh, has just been you know straight up on a tear uh, as the uh, price targets uh, get increased uh, in Amazon uh, and uh, so we'll see you know Netflix uh, had superior earnings there and increased their membership uh, but as you can see on this quarterly you know it's it's had a big run and uh, I think I did uh, Nvidia also let me see Nvidia I thought I put out a Nvidia um, I put out some uh, ETFs also, uh, but I thought I put out a NVIDIA chart. Let me just scroll through. Here it is. Yeah, NVIDIA, uh, you know, very, uh, this is quarterly chart again, very stretched. And once again, not saying not well, you know, not deserved, uh, but, you know, getting a little hyperbolic here and, you know, not looking for a major uh, correction because how can you possibly, you know, call for a big major correction uh, in such a strong market at the moment with uh, dip buyers uh, com coming in constantly. So that's some charts and I put some other uh, ETFs out there on the uh, Zozo Stockwatch uh, Twitter feed. Uh, what I'd like to do now is uh, just get into the Trade Exchange newsletter real fast. Uh, some of your top gainers for Friday, uh, we had OASM, ATOS, uh, ABV after their earnings uh, came out, Intel, uh, big move on uh, Friday after they released earnings, so nice recovery there on uh, Intel, ADVM, uh, SMMT, and then there's some of your losers, uh, Starbucks on their earnings report. Uh, XBIT, uh, LBCC were some of the top losers. Uh, then we had uh, for your options uh, activity for uh, Friday, uh, car company, uh, software company True, T R U E. Uh, Pfizer had a big move on Friday. Uh, XIN, VMC, uh, BlackBerry, some leap, January leap activity in uh, BlackBerry. Uh, CTL, MGM, IPG, and then on the uh, put side, unfortunately, we had uh, General Electric uh, stock still uh, moving down there. So that's some of your unusual call and uh, put activity, once again, from the trade exchange, uh, the good folks there at the trade exchange. Uh, so let's go ahead and here's the daily chart of the uh, SPY. And, uh, you know, just in a bull market, you constantly have to draw new uh, red resistance lines because it just keeps plowing through them. But here's the uh, latest spot that we've hit, uh, 286.83. Uh, so uh, we'll see if we'll get a little bit of a pullback. I mean, even to maybe possibly the 20 uh, SMA on the daily just to, you know, uh, you know, let out a little bit of steam uh, in this market uh, and, uh, you know, maybe offer a, uh, a buying opportunity uh, on some of these uh, big moves in the SPY and the uh, QQQ, uh, which has been powering up and holding our uh, dotted yellow line here, the 5 EMA. The blue line is the 10 SMA. And then below that, I have the 13 and the 20. So as you can see, we're above all these fast moving averages. Um, and uh, you know, ex over, you know, extended. All right, definitely uh, extended. Let me bring over the uh, fear and uh, greed index, which I believe was at uh, 79. 
Uh, this is the CNN uh, oscillator fear and greed index. Yeah, currently at 89. I've seen it more stretched than this. So, you know, according to this, maybe we have a little bit more to go, but we are kind of in this extreme greed uh, area. Uh, on uh, this one, one week ago, we were at uh, 80 and uh, currently, uh, you know, we're at 79. So we'll see on the uh, fear and greed index. And that's from uh, CNN. Let's go through uh, some other markets. Uh, IWC uh, resistance up there at uh, 101, possibly. IWM uh, 160.65 was the uh, recent uh, high on IWM. Uh, IYR, not really much going on there with the REITs. Um, IYT, the transports, uh, you know, we hit up here at 206, 207 area. Uh, we pulled back a little bit, but hanging around the uh, 20 SMA, you know, a lot of the uh, airlines uh, took a hit there. Uh, some of these Delta Airlines down to the 50 SMA, uh, LUV, JetBlue, uh, also uh, taking a, a uh, you know, a pullback here in some of these names uh, and the airlines ALK, which had earnings last week, uh, also uh, moving down. So the airlines are uh, taking a hit in the uh, in the transports there. Uh, silver, uh, you know, bouncing nicely off of this 1475 uh, coming up to uh, 1650 right now, uh, you know, unable to push up through it. Uh, GLD. Uh, we got as high as that 129.50 area on the GLD. If I tighten this up, you can see it's been a recent uh, area of uh, resistance and then above that kind of that 130 spot. So we pulled back a little bit on the GLD, but still holding above uh, the 5 EMA. Uh, the UUP, the dollar ETF, uh, still in this kind of rollover uh, stage here in the uh, dollar. And um, I forgot to mention uh, Donald Trump, uh, President Trump will be doing a State of the Union uh, on the 30th, which is, uh, I believe that's Tuesday night, right? Let me check that. Uh, so yeah, Tuesday night at 9 p.m. Uh, Donald Trump will be giving the his first uh, State of the Union uh, at 9 p.m. Uh, Tuesday night on the 30th of January. So, uh, you know, he might mention uh, the dollar and also, uh, you know, some sectors such as the steel sector, um, you know, uh, for infrastructure. Also, uh, he had just uh, released uh, the tariff, uh, increasing the tariffs on, uh, you know, uh, appliances coming in from, I believe it was South Korea and China and uh, WHR uh, Whirlpool uh, got a nice pop from it. Also in the uh, solar sector, all right, uh, he had increased the uh, tariffs, uh, the ETF there being TAN. Uh, first solar uh, had popped on the news. This was the day of the release, and then uh, it did give it back, but uh, now back above the 10 SMA. So, uh, you know, they might do a further mention on uh, those tariffs and whatnot and some protection, uh, you know, America first kind of uh, ideology and uh, jobs for America. So uh, we might see some pops here in the uh, solar sector and, uh, you know, some of the defense names. Uh, you know, KTOS and RTN, uh, Boeing, uh, Guidant, right? Uh, as those names, military names uh, might get mentioned and you see the, the moves here that they've had uh, the last few days as you're looking at the daily chart. So, uh, you know, it might be an interesting uh, speech on uh, Tuesday night to see which uh, sectors are going to be, uh, you know, uh, moved by what he says uh, on Tuesday night at 9 p.m. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the bigger names. You know, here's Apple on the daily. Like I had mentioned, uh, it is below the uh, 50 SMA here on Apple. Uh, and then, uh, you know, Amazon, I showed you the quarterlies. There's the daily. Even on the daily, I mean, at this point, we're uh, stretched from the uh, 50, the 100 on uh, Amazon, Google. Uh, you know, also has had a nice uh, run here, holding above the 10, uh, a little bit stretched, extended uh, on that name. 
Uh, what else? Uh, Boeing, right, uh, has had a huge run in Boeing, uh, but that one seems to be consolidating again right now. Earnings coming out next week. Uh, Caterpillar pulling back from the highs. Just looking through some of the bigger names. Uh, Cisco Systems having a nice run on the daily. Uh, you know, General Electric still uh, losing steam here as GE just cannot uh, get their act together. Uh, Goldman Sachs, another Dow stock uh, holding up well. And then just the banks, uh, Citigroup holding up well, Bank America, JP Morgan, uh, Zion Bank, all doing uh, nicely. Zion Bank uh, holding the 13 EMA here, maybe getting ready for another move up possibly. Uh, Visa, very strong. MasterCard, very strong. Not in the Dow, but, you know, PayPal, uh, very strong. Payment services. Uh, Merck, which has earnings coming out next week. Uh, you know, recovering from that news from Europe here, turning up. And then, uh, like I said, Pfizer had a super day on Friday for uh, this name. Big, powerful move here in uh, Pfizer. Their earnings are next week also. Procter & Gamble, uh, not so much. Procter & Gamble uh, losing, uh, you know, some momentum here and uh, turning down on Procter & Gamble. Uh, UTX, defense name. Uh, very strong aerospace and defense, not in the Dow, but Honeywell after their earnings, big strong move up on Honeywell, Home Depot, which is in the Dow, uh, continues just to grind up there on Home Depot and uh, Lowe's, not in the Dow, but that continues uh, to move up. Microsoft uh, acting like a, a teenager, <laughs> uh, powering up here. It's like the old days of uh, Microsoft, just steady on up, riding the five EMA here on Microsoft. So, you know, that's some of the names in the Dow. Uh, at Walmart finally got over that 100 spot, uh, turn, pushing up. And then connected with Walmart is uh, JD.com, that stock pushing up, making a move here. So uh, a lot of names uh, moving up. Uh, some names, you know, not in the Dow, but Shopify uh, making a nice move up. Uh, Wayfair uh, continues on moving up, even though, uh, you know, Citron came out after this one and uh, Shopify was another name that Citron uh, did some damage to but can, uh, now powering up to new highs here on Citron. We'll look at the uh, weekly chart here. Big powerful move in uh, Shopify uh, Canadian company so nice move there by Shopify. Uh, we'll go ahead and go ahead and look at uh, some other names. Uh, Amgen uh, making a nice move on Friday. Uh, Baba finally got over that, uh, you know, 190, 192 spot, pushing up. Uh, little mini Baba, A A B A, uh, pushing up to new highs here. Uh, what other names? Uh, here's eBay pushing up. Uh, Celgene maybe trying to recover here, uh, kind of the laggard after they bought out uh, Juno. Um, so, uh, you know, keep your eye on Celgene there. Costco, uh, big move up uh, from the recovery here on Costco. Macy's uh, holding up well, a retailer. Uh, Kroger's and a big move up here on uh, Kroger's that was kind of left for dead. Uh, Starbucks just had uh, earnings. And uh, that stock gap down. So uh, Starbucks uh, not looking too hot right now on that name. And then uh, Duncan, I guess its counterpart, though, is looking very strong. So Duncan, uh, kind of the leader right now over Starbucks. Uh, what else is there? Uh, Yum Brands and uh, Yum Brands uh, on its way, grinding higher. Uh, UM. Yum C, which is the uh, China division, holding up and moving higher. So, and then here's a uh, Facebook, uh, you know, trying to break out over this uh, 190 spot. Had a recent high of uh, 190.66. So, you know, over 191, uh, you know, Facebook could get going, uh, but they do have uh, earnings coming up uh, next week. And then some of the um, some of the ETFs. Uh, that I look at also. Uh, we have this new one, this uh, blockchain uh, ETF is holding up pretty well. Uh, MJX, which is the uh, marijuana uh, ETF, it has um, GWPH in it. Uh, also, um, 
a lot of uh, small penny stocks uh, over the counter stocks are in this uh, MJX and that's been holding up well uh, if you're into the uh, marijuana sector and you don't want to get into those penny stocks uh, individually you could take a look at the uh, MJX uh, the uh, marijuana ETF in the United States uh, what else do we have? We have Robo uh, continuing to move up, uh, which is the um, robotics automation uh, ETF. And then we have uh, bots, uh, artificial intelligence uh, powering up. Here's the weekly on bots. It's been a straight up move there on bots. And then uh, ROBO, uh, you know, with the likes of NVIDIA in this uh, has been uh, moving up uh, on that ETF. And then uh, Hack. Uh, hack uh, starting to uh, maybe possibly break out, you know, such names of FTNT uh, chart not looking too bad there on FTNT Palo Alto Networks uh, looking very good. Uh, for that name, that setup. So, uh, you know, there's a few in that uh, cyber uh, ETF for hack. And, um, you know, uh, there are quite a number of charts that still look good. So, um, you know, I'll, I'll go through those in a moment. Uh, we'll get into the watch list, but a lot of stuff on the plate for next week. A lot of big earnings coming out. Over 400 companies uh, reporting earnings uh, next week. And uh, so it should make for a very interesting uh, week ahead next week. Uh, let's see, what did I want to get into uh, next? Um, And, uh, you know, we'll go ahead and look at the SMH as it's uh, powering up under that uh, 108.50 uh, area with uh, Intel making that big move on a Friday, gapping up after their earnings Thursday. So, you know, that Intel is the biggest uh, stock in the SMH. So big, powerful move there in uh, Intel helping out the uh, SMH. Uh, you know, and we'll look at the USO uh, holding up. And then here's uh, oil. All right, and here's a WTI light sweet crude just under that uh, 66, 67 uh, area for oil. Uh, a nice move there as the economies start to improve throughout uh, Europe, China, Asia, and uh, you know in the North America, uh, economies all uh, improving. So uh, moving the price of oil uh, up, and then the dollar, like I said, with dollar coming down, uh, moves oil up. And then we have the uh, VIX. All right, uh, you know, actually holding up, not too bad, uh, the VIX with the market pulling up, pushing up, uh, the VIX staying above this uh, $9 area, not making any big moves, but, uh, you know, staying within this range here on the VIX. So we'll have to see about that. That's the VIX. Uh, Nat Gas uh, now finally over the 200 uh, SMA for Nat Gas uh, UNG. Uh, IBB uh, Barron's just had a positive uh, article out on uh, biotech uh, over the weekend. So here's the uh, IBB uh, weekly chart, a uh, big move up there on the IBB. And then the uh, XBI also uh, moving up with the merger activity with Celgene and uh, Juno. So putting a lot of biotech names on uh, folks on the radar. Um, and, and that's pretty much it for the uh, ETFs, oil and whatnot. So we'll go ahead and uh, we will get into the uh, watch list. I'll do that right now. Here's uh, AEMD. All right, so I'll have this one on watch, uh, trying to get up over this dollar seventy-five AGCO possible uh, swing trade here. If it can get up over, you know, maybe that seventy-four, seventy-five spot on AGCO, uh, Amazon, uh, not for a swing trade or anything. I was just wanted to make sure I uh, talked about this one and that it had uh, earnings coming out this week. So just a heads up to you folks holding uh, Amazon, uh, AP. HB, uh, 2.1 million shares came into this uh, name on uh, Friday, 2.1 million, uh, just under this dollar uh, 20 spot, and uh, I think this has to do with uh, antibiotics, uh, if my memory serves me right. So you know, it had popped back here, pulled back, 
holding above the 50 SMA now, trying to get over uh, 120. Uh, ATOS, if you play those small little names under the 50 cent uh, and under the 200 SMA, had a high on a Friday of 45 cents. The uh, 200 SMA is 45 cents. So if it gets over that 45 cents, you might get that 50 cent break. Uh, Blackberry uh, trying to recover here off the 50 uh, a 20 SMA, excuse me, uh, you know, car automation, artificial intelligence, software. So uh, BlackBerry, keep that on your watch. BSPM, uh, bio drug manufacturing name, had a big pop on Friday. Gave a lot of it back here. Uh, but, you know, this might set up uh, for the week ahead uh, as a possible day trade. Uh, BURG, uh, big pop up here on Friday, 1.5 million shares. CAG, possible uh, swing trade as there's chatter, rumors around uh, Conagra brands. All right. Uh, we know that uh, BG uh, had chatter, a uh, rumor around it uh, from Archer Daniels Midland. So, uh, you know, all these stocks are perfect up as chatter talk uh, then we have this uh, CANF uh, you know looking for maybe like a an intraday trade on this day trade um, uh, if it pulls back for a possible entry there CAPR another biotech name popped up uh, six million shares in CAPR we traded this in the service on a uh, Friday uh, so very nice move there uh, we got on uh, CAPR. We'll have that on watch again. CMCM, uh, nice pop here. It's had a nice run. Cheetah Mobile, uh, you know, to see if it can get up uh, through this uh, 17 area. Uh, possible swing trade there on CMCM. Uh, some of these uh, names that might pop and have popped Friday uh, as we get closer to uh, Donald Trump's uh, State of the Union are these uh, public or uh, private uh, prison uh, stock CXW uh, popped on Friday and Geo also uh, popped on Friday so you see the volume that was coming in so uh, these could possibly make a move uh, from the uh, speech on Tuesday night so keep your eye on GEO and also that uh, CXW uh, private uh, prison uh, companies uh, DDD uh, 3D systems. Uh, if it ever gets through this $11 area, we're holding above the 50 and the moving averages. We've been basing for a while. Uh, if this can get up over $11, you might get a play there uh, for a swing trade. Delt, uh, big pop back here, has been kind of uh, tailing off, but uh, got a little action on Friday. A lot of social media mention on uh, DELT. So the high was that 175 on Friday. Friday. So, you know, maybe 180 uh, or right over that 175. Keep it on watch. EBIO, another one for intraday play. 3.1 million shares traded in it. You know, not a great daily looking chart, but for intraday, you know, you could get a play in that. Uh, First Solar, like I mentioned, keep this one on watch for a possible, uh, you know, mention with the tariffs and whatnot. Could get some movement. Oh, I know the reason I mentioned had uh, Amazon in here also is. Is, uh, you know, uh, the uh, speech on Tuesday night by Trump, he's not a big fan of uh, Jeff Bezos, uh, the Washington Post. And uh, so, you know, he might say something about Internet taxes and things like that. So uh, that might uh, give uh, Amazon a push down, possibly, uh, if he mentions something in his speech. Uh, what else do we have? We had, uh, oh, we left off at First Solar. FTNT showed you that one already. Uh, cyber name kind of uh, under this $46 level. Uh, HAIR, uh, Restoration uh, Robotics. Don't know much about this company, uh, but it's basing kind of below the 50 and this $5 area. Uh, very low volume stock, a uh, recent IPO. Maybe it's uh, wanting to turn the corner there. Uh, IPI and ag name. Uh, now, you know, he might be talking about the uh, farmers and the farming industry. Uh, so IPI uh, might want to uh, turn back up. Uh, it's been holding this 50 SMA IPI, intra, intrepid uh, potash. Um, what else? Uh, KMAX, CarMax, uh, looking good for possible swing trade there. KTOS. 
uh, one to watch as defense names maybe get mentioned in the uh, Trump speech. Uh, LSCC has been basing under this uh, semiconductor name, been basing under this uh, 660 area. So let's see, we had a high here. Yeah, exactly, 660. So uh, volume came in on Friday, 2.4 million shares. So if we get over that 660, uh, it could uh, make a move. Macy's uh, might want to make another move up on Macy's. Uh, M MTBC uh, right under that $4 area, MTBC uh, volume. Friday it was about over 900,000 shares, uh, you know, but has that $4 number right up ahead. MYSZ uh, has been holding under 275. So if it gets over that 275, 280, uh, we could get a nice uh, push up in that one. Uh, OPTT starting to turn back up. 1.8 million shares Friday. Still under this 200 SMA, which is at uh, 132. So if it gets over that 200 SMA, we'll see. Uh, Rocks had a pop on a Friday. Over 600,000 shares traded. Uh, still has a lot of work to do. Uh, on it, but uh, you know, might be interesting. S O G O, nice pop on Friday. Another idea for you. Recent IPO, uh, basing under this uh, 1250, 2.9 million shares. Uh, S R A X uh, holding up okay, turning back up above the uh, 50. Has that 625 number uh, up ahead, maybe over the highs here at uh, 595, six dollars could get you through. Uh, that six buck area. SRRA, I believe this is a Canadian uh, biotech company, over uh, 350, 2.2 million shares came into this name. Uh, let's see, TRCO, Broadcast TV, uh, under this uh, 44 area, the high possible swing trade here, 43.71. Keep your eye on that one if you're interested. Uh, True Car Company, turning back up. Maybe this one sets up for a, uh, you know, fill the gap here type of play for TRUE. Uh, Travago uh, has been popping, gave back some on Friday, uh, 5.6 million shares. So uh, Travago uh, trying to come up off the bottom there. USAU, one of the stronger, uh, you know, making a nice move on Friday for a gold stock. Uh, 1 million shares came into it. Uh, we popped up, we've pulled back. We're holding above the 50, the 20, uh, you know, maybe over that uh, 270, 275 spot for USAU. Uh, uh, Whirlpool on the uh, watch here because we have uh, the Trump speech union, uh, State of the Union. So maybe this one gets a push up like uh, First Solar. And then lastly, XIN, possible swing trade in this one. Uh, blockchain, real estate, uh, you know, uh, for a quick swing trade type of thing over that $8 uh, area. Had a high of 803, maybe 805 uh, sends it. A little bit light on the volume on Friday, but, you know, kind of uh, setting up here you know, coiling a little bit and consolidating, as you can see right there, a little bit of a flag. So watch it over that uh, 805, 803 area for XIN. All right, so that's your watch list. Let's get ready. A lot of earnings. Uh, everybody have a good week trading. This is Mike from ZozoStockWatch.com. Thanks for listening. Hit that subscribe button if you're enjoying these videos. I'd appreciate that. I do the videos for free, so the least you can do is hit that thumbs up button for me and uh, let me know you're out out there. All right. Have a very good week trading. Each night I put out a video. So see you on the next video. Thank you for following me on YouTube. Thanks for listening on YouTube. Back at it uh, tomorrow night with another watch list.